Monkeypox continues to spread all across the country. The CDC has reported more than 4,600 cases nationwide. Now, here in Idaho, the Idaho Department of Health and <coughs> Welfare has reported a total of three cases. Our Brenda Rodriguez joins us to tell us how the state is preparing. Brenda, first, I guess the question is, are vaccines available? Yes, the FDA approved vaccine is available. A couple of states have already started offering them. Here in Idaho, though, the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare's a deputy state epidemiologist said that the shipment was ordered on Wednesday. And she also mentioned once the vaccines arrive, they will be offered in stages. The monkeypox outbreak is growing in our country, so much so that the World Health Organization declared the disease a global health emergency on July 23rd. Monkeypox is a virus that is related to the smallpox virus, but it has much, much milder symptoms than, than smallpox. Monkeypox is spread through skin to skin contact, so it's a little bit different. While it certainly can be spread through sexual contact, it can be spread um, through non-sexual contact as well. Some of the symptoms include flu-like symptoms, so fever, chills, um, swollen lymph nodes, that sort of thing. Idaho Department of Health and Welfare's Deputy State Epidemiologist Katherine Turner says after the flu-like symptoms happen, the monkeypox rash appears. It can look like pimples or blisters. Most of the time, the, the rash is going to last for two to four weeks. It resolves without any specific treatment, but it's important that you don't pick at them, even though they're itchy, um, because yes, it's it's a break in your skin and it can it can scar if you really pick at them. As of Thursday, the CDC has reported a total of 4,639 monkeypox cases nationwide. Three of those cases are here in Idaho, all adults. In Idaho, we have not um, um, detected any community spread. All of our cases are known contacts to somebody who has been diagnosed with monkeypox. There's been uh, reports of vaccines being available in a couple different states. Um, so what does that look like here in Idaho? Um, is, has, is that available for people? Yeah, Idaho received a small amount of monkeypox vaccine and it is prioritized for post what we call post exposure prophylaxis. So what this is, is people who have been exposed to monkeypox and have symptoms, um, they will be given the vaccine. As the number of cases continue to grow nationwide, Turner says she expects Idaho's cases will follow. While there are some communities in the United States that are experiencing a large caseload, Idaho has not, but we're, we're prepared and we're ready um, to respond if that happens in Idaho. The Idaho Department of Health and Welfare is working closely with Idaho's health systems like St. Luke's and St. Alphonsus. We have dedicated team members who continue to monitor, continue to update our guidelines, our resources and tools. We also ensure that we have the appropriate supplies, so um, our personal protective equipment. While more vaccines become available, health experts encourage the community to take preventative care. Um, hand washing is always um, the number one go-to. And then, you know, really limit the direct contact with anybody who does have a rash and isolate from other household members as needed. And again, Turner says that once the vaccines arrive, it's going to be offered in stages. So right now, the best thing to do is to just uh, take care of yourself. So wash your hands, just yes. like you mentioned. So. Well, the good news is everyone's in the habit of doing that a lot because yeah. of COVID already. Right. So that's been helpful. So we hope that keeps this away from us as well. You see the pictures. Nobody wants to get monkeypox. Yeah, yeah, that is awful. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. keep calm, wash on.